Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode, uh, is it seven? I never remember the, yes, episode seven, which is called The Eye. Uh, episode seven of The Rings of Power. Um, we have, I think, one more week until the finale, uh, which is kind of scary. Uh, I'm not ready for this to end. I want this to be like ongoing forever. Um, but yeah, we've got two more episodes left. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Very nervous, very excited. Um, so let's get into it. Man, this is absolutely devastating. Oh, thank God he's okay. Oh, but he's not. He's gone. He's gone. He didn't even want to do this. He wanted to like back out and oh, I just. Oh lord. I mean, he's fine. <laughs> oh god, what a change of pacing from that to this. Jesus Christ. It's my rule to reflect more, Avi. Oh, we love Poppy. Poppy's the best. I'm worried that he's gonna make something worse here. I hope he doesn't, but I'm worried. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Goddamn meddling kids. Alright, don't blame him for this. That was not his fault. You guys asked him to do shit that you didn't know if he could do. Some strange man, you're asking him to do shit, and he tries to do something, and you get mad at him for it? What? <sighs> something. <gasps> Elrond! My baby boy! And so we offer something silly for me, baby. He is very loyal. And a few words of sword time. He is a Hufflepuff, through and through. How can you, how can you say no to that face? Come on, how can you say no? My friend is drowning. You expect me to swat his hand away because you are afraid of a bloody rock fall? That's what your time is for. Ah! Uh. Uncaring old fool. What Damn, Disa. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> damn, girl! God, I love Jesus' stubbornness. Very well, in your mother's case, she actually does have lice in her. I'm joking. <laughs> God, I love this so much. Was he gonna say beard? Because I know dwarven women sometimes have beards, or supposedly do. Oh, his little baby face. Go give him a hug. Give your best friend a hug. I can elbow you into saying sorry to say goodbye then. No. We do not say goodbye. Stop. <laughs> I can't see. My tears are in my eyes. They're in the way. I'm as bad as Durin. <laughs> Give him a fucking hug! <laughs> Go after him, Durin! <laughs> God, I feel like we've just witnessed a breakup. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's... That's all they needed! That's all they fucking needed! Yes, they got that push! Let's fucking go! That is fucking beautiful. I have to say, that is beautiful. But every shot in this fucking show is the greatest. Damn, I'm surprised this many people survived. He's alive. It's okay, Ellen Deal. It's fine. He's okay. 
Oh god, what's his reaction gonna be when he thinks that Isildur is in there and he's dead? No! No, not the sudden realization! Where is my son? God, this is a fucking emotional episode. Fucking hell. She can't see, can she? She is so fucking strong, keeping it together like that. I would have been having a fucking mental breakdown. Which I feel like I'm gonna have because of this episode. Oh, I feel kind of sad that he's leaving. Why is this entire episode just out to make me cry? I'm my husband. Excuse me? What do you mean you... It, wh he's alive! What do you mean? He's not dead! What? Maybe she just thinks he's dead. Maybe it's a case of, like, Isildur. They think he's dead, but he's not. Damn, Elrond, you look good. <laughs> the way they look at each other, I, my heart can't take it. I love them. <laughs> you have our secret needs for use only amongst ourselves. We reveal them only to family. Is he going to reveal it to him? Spirits, sisters, brothers. You say it. The way he said his name. <laughs> God, their friendship just... Ca I can't I can't ever have an end. I can't ever have them be apart, ever. Never again. And it, I know it's gonna happen, and I don't... You did it. <laughs> it's gonna be, like, entirely filled with it, isn't it? Oh, holy shit. Oh, well. Don't ruin this. Don't ruin this for them. Take a peek and see what the fuck is in there. Durin didn't even get to tell him his name. Okay, he got to keep a bit. That's good, at least. It's as much a brother to me as if he'd been fired in my own mother's womb. How dare you! <laughs> you profaned the crown you wear! Oh, God! He's gonna get banished. Wow, he did fix it! He fixed it. Y'all judged him way too fucking quickly. He did good and he didn't even get the appreciation for it, but it's okay because I appreciate him. All of you guys appreciate him, so it's okay. I just wish I could hug him. Oh great, Poppy and Nori are about to get fucking kidnapped, aren't they? Don't tell me they're gonna like undo everything that he did. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? He wants a Sildur back. But he probably knows that he's alive. He knows he's still out there. He has a bond. Go back for him, Beric. He's going back for him! God, they really like to bait us with her death, don't they? Fucking hell. Look at the way he's gone from hitting him to hugging him and being glad that he's alive. Oh my lord. Oh 
Okay, not Ellendale needs a hug, goddammit. They all need a- Everybody in this show needs a fucking hug. <laughs> I need a fucking hug. But our hearts... Even bigger in our <laughs> Everyone needs to take a page out of his book. Try and stop them. Oh, shit, she's gonna go too? Wasn't expecting that, holy shit. You sure about this, Gozi? I'm coming with you. Yes, let's go. She's gonna take him back, and then he's gonna meet Elrond, and then they're gonna find a Sildur, and then a Sildur's gonna meet Elrond, and then they're gonna come become besties, and then that's gonna go down the angsty route at the end. Oh, God. And together we will rule this mountain and all others before our time is done. What a fucking queen! Okay, I wonder if putting that leaf in there is a bad decision. What is that gonna do? Is this about to like awaken a Balrog? Fuck, I forgot about Adar. Where the fuck did he go? As, as depressing as the situation is, he looks fucking hot. <laughs> And I hate it. <laughs> oh, is he gonna say it? Oh, oh! Say it! Mordor! Oh, shit, that's so cool! Dude! Holy shit! That was sick! Holy fuck! Oh my god! Dude, I will literally say this every week. How the fuck can people shit talk this? That- oh. <laughs> oh my god, they always like have like so much at the beginning and then at the very end they just like- You think that everything is like done and then they just shock you even more. Like the fucking Balrog and fucking the- 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 the Southland thing turning into Mordor. That was sick! I was kind of hoping to hear him just like- like a low growl like Mordor. But then just seeing the title script- like the- the- the title- oh my god it was so- I'm so hyped! That was so fucking cool! Like most of the episode I fucking cried. Like I- I'm surprised that I don't have my makeup the entire way down my face. I probably did at one point. Um, God, I have so much to process with everything that happened. And I'm confused about, like, well, not really confused, but, like, the way that Galadriel talked about Celeborn, I was like, you're acting like he's dead when he's not dead. Clearly, obviously. So I, I assume he's going to show up at some point and she's going to be like, oh my God, you're still alive. And he's going to be like, yeah, who's this? And she's going to be like, that's Halbrand, my boyfriend. <laughs> no, I don't think that they have like a romantic thing going on. Um, but uh, I know people are speculating it. But it's interesting to hear her bring up Celeborn because now that we, are, we have confirmation that she is currently married, that she has already been married to him. Um, so that's interesting. Um, I am still an absolute fucking mess over, uh, Durin and Elrond's friendship. Um, I can't, I, I can't put into words how happy their friendship makes me. Like, they would fucking give everything for each other, like, quite literally. Um, and I feel like now that the Balrog has awoken, this is just gonna cause shit, because now Durin... I feel like is this isn't gonna go well. It's a fucking Balrog. It's gonna destroy everything. Um, and now Durin might end up getting in, you know, getting into shit and probably not surviving. Or Dees is not gonna survive, and then Elrond is gonna blame himself, and then he's gonna be upset because Elrond apparently just can't catch a fucking break. And I just, oh god, I just. I mean, uh, in all in all honesty, obviously. Seeing what's happened now, he should have just listened to his father, but at the same time, his father is a douche. And, you know, he was doing it for the right reasons, but he just didn't know it was going to wake in a fucking ball rock. Oh, God, everything. It's kind of like the whole situation with, like, Theo, like, handing over the, the hilt. Like, he didn't know that he was about to create Mordor with that shit. Like, dude. Oh, fuck. Disa is a fucking queen. I s love her so much. She's so cool. I feel like every... Every female character that we've had in this is fucking incredible. Like, the Queen is incredible. Galadriel's incredible. 
Bronwyn's and all of them, every single one of them are amazing. Um, uh, but the real star of the show, who is gonna serve his purpose, is Beric, the horse. The horse, he is going back for Isildur, you cannot tell me otherwise. Aragorn and his horse, you know what happened there. This shit's gonna be the same. This fucking horse is gonna go back and he's gonna fucking save Isildur and then he's gonna roll up on his horse and Ellen Deal's gonna be like, that's my son. Um, I, I, It's gonna happen, it has to. I mean, obviously it has to happen at some point. Like Isildur has to come back. Um, Will it be this season though? I feel like it won't be. I feel like that might be like a next season thing. Um, I have a feeling that next episode might focus more on Mordor and the Balrog. Uh, and the three people that came down to ruin the Harfoots. I'm really glad the Harfoots have had a bit of a change of mind now. Now that they've seen that they can trust the stranger and that they can't trust these three evil people that are, you know, setting fire to things and having a staff that looks like a Sauron, like, eye. Um, yeah, it's, it's all a little bit intense. Uh, and I hope that they do find the stranger before anything bad happens to him. Uh, I hope they find him and that he realizes that he did do good and that everybody loves him and that he does have friends. Um, and then he sets up a fireworks show for them. Uh, <laughs> God, my brain is like working at like 50 miles like per second. Um, I don't, I don't even know what else to say at this point because my emotions are just, uh, they're off on a fucking roller coaster at the minute. I don't fucking know where they are. Oh, this show, this show is just so fucking incredible. I am like, I'm not ready for it to be over. Like, I know season two has apparently officially begun filming, um, from what I've read. Um, but I'm not ready for it to be over. Like, I need more. Like, we only have one episode left. And I don't know how I'm going to survive without it. I feel like it's a, it's a part of my life now. Um, like, am I just going to have to, like, rewatch the movies and rewatch this show over and over and over again until the new season comes out? You know what, it actually doesn't sound too bad, because I probably will do that, honestly. I rewatch the movies often enough, so I may as well add the show in there. Um, I, oh god, I, I'm fucking loving this show so goddamn much, and I'm so glad that I am. I'm really, really happy, and I really do hope that you guys are enjoying it too. And I hope the people who started off, like, kind of upset that they weren't enjoying it, I hope you've learned to come to come and enjoy it. I hope you've learned to kind of see past the fact that it's not exactly the lore and that it's not going to be exactly what you wanted. I hope you realize that it is fucking incredible. For the story that they personally are telling, it's insane. It's so good. And I am uh, loving it. And I'm really, really sorry for the people who aren't enjoying it. Because it is a work of art. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, and yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know how you feel. Uh, what, you th what do you think is going to happen in the next episode? I, I want to know what you're... What your thoughts are, where it's going to go, are we going to see Sauron, is that going to be next season, what are we going to do, what's going to happen? Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys next week for the finale! <laughs> Peace!